Welcome back to What Are Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the T-100 LT. It's a tier 10 Soviet light tank. In fact, it's the final word in light tanks on the Soviet line. And this one's located on the south spawn of Prokhorovka under the command of Mr. Music 611. Now, T-100 LT, armed with a 100mm gun. It's very stealthy. It's got the best camo rating in all of the game. It's fast, it's very nimble, but it's an absolutely crap sniper. It is the ultimate spotting tank. It can move fast, it can get close to the enemy, they can't see it, and then it can spot for its team. And if it gets into trouble, it can get out of trouble very, very quickly by driving away from it. Well, Mr. Music is moving as quickly as he can into a spotting position, very close to the enemy. And okay, that looks good enough. He's in the bush. They can't see him. He has got, I think that's a reference point. He has got a reference point exposed on this side. And he spotted a gorilla. That might be a bit dangerous, but he's got bushes this side of him. So if the enemy comes up the other side, they won't see him. He's spotting a huge number of the enemy. He's spotted quite a few. And shells are flying left, right and centre. And he's picking up spotting damage, 2,600 so far, 2,800, 3,500, oh my god, 4,300 spotting! This is incredible! Battle's only been going about a minute and a half, he's picked up 4.3k of damage already! He's just moving a bit further into the bush, that's a good idea, covering his reference point. You don't want to expose something and somebody sees you. Still the only one spotting from this position. He's well in advance of his teammates and he can see on both sides. But he might have to move up in order to spot some more. Oh, it's found, found the enemy again. And it's a Badger and an Object 268. And he's getting more spotting. up any more of the hit points of spotting damage though. I wonder actually if the people spotting are actually on the midline ridge and every time they pop up they're seeing someone. Okay, he's moving up just a little bit each time. I think he can go a bit further actually without being seen. It's got the same spotting rating when moving as it has when stationary. But I can tell you, it is the best camo rating of all. It's incredibly stealthy. Oh, if you knock the tree down, that would tell them that we're here. It's moved away from the tree just in case somebody tries firing in this direction. And there is a Batchat 25 ton. Oh, uh, there was a Batchat. He's now dead. 4,600 hit points of spotting. Now the good thing here is he's now spotting on both sides. He's spotting across the midline for his teammates. Is he going to move up? Yes. Oh no, he's decided to abandon his spotting position. And it looks like now he's going to go active spotting. He's going to go in there and find the enemy and run away from them. And I tend to do this as well when I'm using my ELC Evan 90. It's a good trick, but I don't have anywhere near the camo rating that this light tank does. All the speed. <laughs> this is very aggressive spotting. But it's very, very easy to pick up lots of hit points of damage on the enemy if you move this about very rapidly. The enemy will try and shoot at you. They found him, but they're going to miss because he's just moving too quickly for them. And he's picked up more spotting damage on 1660. Oh, but he took a round in the rear. T57 got him. And he had to use his, uh, his first aid kit. Okay, well, he can try that again now. 
5.4k damage spotting so far. Oh, knocked a tree down, but I don't think that'll worry because I think the enemy is just too far away to see it. Okay, he's into the bush. I think he can move further up. Oh, no, 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 there's Badger. Pull back, pull back, pull back. And he fires around near the, the uh, E100, gets some damage. And he got some more spotting, but he got hit by the Badger. Oh, you can see the shells trying to hit him, but he's just too quick for them. And his spotting damage has now gone up to 8.7k. Okay, nothing's going to deter Mr. Music from getting at those enemies. So he's moved back to his spotting bush and he's going to advance on them. Using the ridge line, gets as far forward as he can. He was seen. Oh, took another round from the Badger. It's difficult to see where these shells are going in, but they are going in. No, you can't see them on the rear. They must be very low. I can't see them underneath the vehicle either. He's being very cheeky because every time he pops up, the enemy's firing at him. There's the 268. There's the Badger. The Badger's dead. He's now got 8.9k of spotting and the 268 is now the next target. And he's being fired upon, but... some of those shells were going into the wrecks. Oh, no, he's picked up some more spotting. 9.6k now. They're two tanks up on the enemy. I think he's so low on hit points now, he dare not risk another run forward, because if he does, it could spell doom. He fires one in, but he'll have to get moving. That's it. Gets below the ridge line, the enemy can't see him. He's got some more spotting, and he spotted a Jaegeru. There's a Jagdpanzer E100 up there. He's being very cheeky and moving forward. There's the Jaegeru. He's got the side of him. You put a round in. 100mm gun. It's got um, alpha damage of 300, penetration 230. He could probably get through the side armor. Oh, he does. 304. And he was seen, so he's going to have to move. Oh, the 113 saw him. That was so unfortunate. He managed to get up to 11.899k. 11 11 well, nearly 12,000 hit points of damage spotted during that game. That is going to end up with a massive massive credit total and a massive XP total at the end of the game because of course he earns half of the uh, damage and half of the uh, credits for every bit of damage that is done by his spots and that really was an impressive score 11,899 hit points are spotted but he was seen once too often and he was very low on hit points so he did chance it but it was worth taking a risk. Just to get another shot into that. Yayaru. Now there's only four enemies left. There's five on our team. As we can see, it's a remarkably static battle. And that's mainly because there's no arty involved. Now, I know people do complain and say, well, arty stops camping. And they say, no, it doesn't. It actually forces you to cap. But this battle doesn't appear to be going anywhere because they, there's no incentive on either side to push. <laughs> well, that Object 260's moved up. But I wonder if he's going to pay for that. 
Well, the enemy T-57 Heavy's just been taken out, but that 260 is trying to get shots in. And he does. He gets the AMX-50B. Now, it does make me wonder what the Object 268 on our team is doing, because he's got a target in front of him that he can see. There he is, the Object 260. Oh, he is firing. Okay, well, he's in, he is taking part. He's not gone off to answer a telephone call or see who's at the front door. Or make himself a cup of tea. But the scores are even. They've got three heavies. We've got two heavies and a tank destroyer. Ah, that's better. The 268 just got a massive hit on the 260. And the 113 is pulling back. The 260 is going YOLO. And that's probably going to spell doom for him. Yes, it did. Big mistake. The AMX 50B is going off to the 113. It's the last man alive. And the E5 is moving in as well. And that's it. Game's over. They've won. So, nice little battle there. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats, see how we got on. And it's a it's a first class tanker for Mr. Music 611 in the T100 LT, but he also got his first mark of excellence during that battle uh, for all the effort he put in. And he picked up a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. Well, actually, it was 12,000 hit points of damage. But you don't get a special award for that. But you do pick up a patrol duty if you're the only person spotting when damage is done to at least six enemy vehicles by highlight highlighting them. And of course, Mr. Music did do that. So he got that award. And let's have a look at the... Uh, oh, crumbs. Just look at the numbers of tanks he hit. Um, anyway, let's have a look at team score. Well, we can see if you look at damage done... Uh, Mr. Music was way down the table. He only managed to get 600 hit points of damage. He didn't fire that many shots, actually. Uh, and he didn't get any kills. So uh, he appears fairly low when it comes to that. But when it comes to base XP, you can see he's right up at the top. Um, the T100, um, T110 uh, E5 managed to get the highest amount, 1,217. Then came the MX50B. He got 1,191. And then came Mr. Music with 1,130 just a short distance behind. Um, best that the enemy could do was their 113, the one that killed Mr. Music. He managed to get 846 base XP off five kills. So let's have a look at detail report. There you see, four shots fired, four direct hits, two penetrations, damage of 600 hit points, of which 304 were at more than 300 meters. He received four hits from the enemy and every one of them went through. I'm afraid the armor, even though it's supposed to be rather good at deflecting 90 millimeter shells, is not that good. And therefore he did take those shots from the Badger and other tanks and they went straight through. But he did spot six enemy vehicles. He damaged four of the enemy, but didn't kill any. But he did that massive 12,705 hit points of spotted damage. It was more than the 11.8k uh, 11, 8, uh, 11 that I thought it was. It was 12,705. So he actually must, must have done some recorded damage that uh, we didn't see. But on a premium account, he earned 82,295 credits from that battle. And after repair and ammunition resupply, he took away 58,525 credits. And that's a phenomenal score for a tier 10 tank. He received 1,695 XP and there was no multiplier, so I'm afraid that's all he took away. But it was a monster round there by Mr. Music and congratulations on getting your first mark of excellence in this tank. I'm sure we'll be seeing a replay where you've got your second mark of excellence very soon if you carry on spotting like that because everyone will be very happy with you for highlighting the enemy as well as you do. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be you, your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.